Hmm. All right, crazy town time. Biden, well, just off the chain. Roll it. Get over here. Oh, stand, my goodness. I'll stand right, right here. Hold the corpse right here. <laughs> I invite you now to address the houses. Well, well Mom. <laughs> you said it would happen. He As the proud son of Catherine Eugenia Finnegan Biden, well, you knew I'd be coming. <laughs> <laughs> if you forgive the poor attempted Irish, Tamisha Walia. I only wish I could stay longer. <laughs> and uh, I didn't play rugby except when I was out of school, out of law school. Oh. And I didn't play it very well. We played in a rugby club. Oh. But uh, I did How play American football people? and a few other sports. But I realized that, you know, you guys are all nuts. I've never met an Irishman in America who doesn't think he will hope he could see Ireland someday. You know, their sweet, <laughs> their, excuse me, their sweat is soaked with the foundations of communities across the nation. They're sweet. I'll tell you a story. I was campaigning for president, and I was out in Colorado, and I was with a man whose family had been, he was a former senator, a man whose family had been in the United States since the conquistadors for generations. Conquistadors. And and there were a whole lot of people standing across a refurbished rail station. In, in western, uh, excuse me, in eastern Colorado, eastern. and there was literally 10,000 people on the other side of the track waiting to hear me speak. And he kept saying, "Now, Joe, remember, remember, these people are not; these are my people. They're Hispanic. They're not used to being taken. You got to show respect in Syria." I said, "I understand." And he kept he kept it up. Finally, I turned him and said, "God's truth. This refurbished train station, okay? It had like linen kind of wallpaper on it, and about every 20 feet." There was a brass plaque that said, no Irish allowed. <laughs> wow. I said, I get it. I get it. But it's history that speaks above all to the values that sustain these people throughout their hardships. No reaction. Think about this. <laughs> Name another country, whatever their language is, that used the word dignity as much as we Irish use the word dignity. The Irish who first raised the tricolor in Ireland 175 years ago and who supposed su- su- subsequently, <laughs> our history reminds <laughs> us, <laughs> our history, ours, yours and mine, reminds us of the responsibilities we have to wow. the president. Even the, the little guy like, what is it? The the Ireland about? has committed more than 170 million euros in non-lethal aid to Ukraine, in looting, including you build an international looting. credibility as looting. peacekeepers, stepping up continuously to serve in the UN peacekeeping missions since Ireland's oh, first peace. development, since Ireland's first deployment in 1958. Peace, Ireland's peace contribution peace. of 50 million euros is helping prevent the, 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 the and treat wasting, child wasting and supply ready to use therapeutic foods and reach a half a million children in Africa. Peace is the necessary foundation <laughs> for progress for both, for growth, for unlocking the enormous... There are literally hundreds of American corporations ready to come and invest. What are you talking about? Invest, but they're cautious because their institutions are not in place. We must never forget that peace, even as has become and lived reality for an entire generation of young people, peace is precious. I think think that the United Kingdom should be working closer with Ireland in this effort. (laughs) <laughs> into this endeavor. For too long, Ireland has talked about in the, task, in the past tense. It's good to remember. Stories of Irish grit and genius, saints and scholars, poets and politicians. And in the face of it, they're good stories on its face. Let's face it. I've learned my name. I, rise up, I rose up. I remembered it. Now, now mm-hmm. I can tell my story. It was different from the stories told about me. The deep connection that has always existed between our people and the land has translated into a commitment to fight climate crisis, to preserve our planet for future generations. The single existential threat to the world is climate change. (laughs) We don't have a lot of time, and that's a fact. I've flown over more territory in the United States since I've been president in a helicopter that has been burned to the ground 
and comprises the entire state of Maryland. Be equal to the entire state of Maryland. Yeah, and the island's what? famous 40 shades of green are being supplemented by green energy. You know, uh, he's got nothing from this crowd. This crowd stinks. But you know, <laughs> um, I started to write a book oh. talking about how technology has always changed the world, and we were in an inflection point sure in did. the world. <laughs> Yeah. The technology was changing so rapidly sure and things were changing so significantly. Even Hunter's like, what do you It wasn't so much that <laughs> led any country. It was the changes that are just happening at, at, at incredible speed. Incredible speed. I had a professor at school who said, the oh, inflection God, point is when you're over. riding down the highway at 60 miles an hour and you make a radical turn six degrees in one direction. You can never get back in the course you're on. Oh. I've yeah, met more with Xi Jinping than any world leader has over the last 10 years. Oh, here we go. Over, uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me, 91 hours of just one-on-one -on -one conversations, 68 in person. I've traveled 17,000 miles with him through Asia, primarily through China. Oh. He once asked me on the Tibetan Plateau, he said, can you define America for me? Oh, here we go. This is the God's truth. Oh, God. This is closing, this is closing this is bit. I said, yes, I can, in one word. But if you asked me about Ireland, I could have said the same thing. Yeah. One word. Possibilities. Ah. We believe anything is possible if we set our mind to it and we do it together. This is the United States of America and Ireland. There's nothing beyond our capacity if we do it together. And we got to believe that. we got to know that because that's the history of both our countries. Or your husband. And thank you for sending me that autograph copy.